Hey, James Marchie here at JTEC. I'm going to give you a little period of instruction over a 10 speed um, Eaton Fuller example gearbox or manual transmission in a uh, Class A semi. Uh, as you see, the red, right, first we'll start off there, the red are the counter shafts, the green is your input, the blue are your drive gears, the purple here is your clutch. This portion is the auxiliary system, which I will get to shortly, but uh, still, color-coded, still same concept. Uh, as I was saying, this is a 10-speed transmission, so currently it's in fifth gear, but we'll kind of go through how it actually operates. So, as you have input from your engine, <coughs> input and torque, drive, come in through your engine. So, as your vehicle is in gear, <coughs> your input gear, input main shaft, is uh, always spinning along with your main input drive gear. <clears throat> that drive gear drives both counter shafts all the way, which are always continuously turning. Uh, <clears throat> these are continuously turning, are also the blue gears are continuously turning. The yellow main shaft that runs down the middle, when it is not actually in gear or in neutral, is still, everything else constantly spins. Uh, it's shift collars, they're uh, connected to your shift knob and uh, your shifter lever, and they are splined and slide through the transmission when you select the gear. As you were to select, say, first gear, you're going to have input drive from the motor split, like I said, from the main drive gear up through your counter shaft over to your first gear, which is going to be located right here. <coughs> and you're going to come from both counter shafts. Your sliding collar right here will engage into the gear and slip in and slide right here, which will then transfer power from this gear through the collar into your main shaft, which will then exit your main box of your transmission into your auxiliary gear. And as you see on a 10-speed transmission, you have five low gears, five high gears. For high gear, it would just this trans this collar would shift straight back into this gear, again locking down the main main shaft of the auxiliary. Transfer it straight out. <clears throat> to change the ratio to a low gear in the auxiliary box to give you more pulling power for starts, comes in through the main into the main imp, uh, main drive gear of the auxiliary, transfers out to the counter shaft just like in the main gear box. Transfers over your counter shaft gear to the secondary drive gear for your low gear, up into that low gear, and then transfers to that spline with this clutch collar engaged this way, and then out down to your drive shaft. Um, as you were, you were going, going from first gear to second gear, in the low concept, your shift clutch, or your sliding clutch, will transfer out, which will then take the power away from first gear, will then transfer it as you then go shift to second, going through your neutral, this shift collar here will transfer into this gear, which will then engage the gear and your power will be transferred from your two column or two sh uh, counter shafts into your second gear drive gear through your shaft then out the main shaft and continue on through there. <clears throat> um, for reverse, if you were to select reverse, <clears throat> there are two idler gears located right here, which are a part of the um, or are located on the top and bottom of your transmission, and they are driven by a smaller gear off of your or off of the counter shaft gears. As this engine is turning, turning clockwise, this here turns it to an opposite direction to give you a reverse. So this here, either these are all turning the exact same direction as your main input gear, which will then obviously throughout there for forward, but these will make you to reverse. So these will transfer to reverse, which then this either gear will engage this way and then output through there. Um, so anyway, this is the basic concept in the basic farm flow for the manual drive gear transmission in a Class A semi. Um, if you have any questions, put it in the comments below. Thank you very much.